I'm Lieutenant Colonel Deanna Wan, and um, I came into the Air Force about 20 years ago. Uh, I came into the unit and um, was in a leadership position at the time and uh, found that the morale in the unit was uh, very low. Um, I, I heard it, the, the, the organization was primarily civilian uh, with a few military and I, I heard it from civilians as well as the military and um, found that some of the more junior military were uh, thinking of, of exiting, getting out of the Air Force uh, because they were so unhappy with the work situation. Um, and so my, my first course of action was really just to talk to people, um, not only in a group setting, but to talk to people on a, an individual basis to really try to get at the root of uh, what the issues were. And uh, what I found out from just doing interviews with, with various people throughout the organization was that there were some employees uh, who were not really carrying their weight. And so because they, there was this perception um, that uh, he was really not fulfilling what he should be doing for someone in his rank, uh, that caused a lot of resentment amongst uh, his coworkers. One of the employees, well, the employee that was perceived to be not carrying his weight uh, was really an engineer, but he often got really stressed out. Um, and I mean, to the point that he would have health issues, uh, you know, he would develop hives and then he, he would have emotional breakdowns and actually threaten people. Actually, th there was violence and he, you know, he, so, so it, it, it was a very bad situation at one point. One of my, um, I guess the branch chiefs, um, you know, he had some challenges working with this individual who was, who was perceived to be very threatening to people. It was interesting because I thought various employees just, you know, they, they felt like they were on eggshells around this person because it was very visible when he became very agitated, his face would just become red and, um, and, and I even had uh, subordinates come and tell me that, well, you may want to be careful with this person. You know, it's good you have a good solid desk here, you know, but you know, you might need it if he, if he you know, comes at you. Um, and and I, I took that all with a grain of salt. Um, I, I decided that, you know, really the important thing that I felt I should do is, is give this individual respect. Um, and uh, and so, so I, I, I sat him down, talked to him, you know, and just try to find out what his issues were and found out that, you know, yes, he did have an engineering background, but um, the organization, you know, ha had vastly evolved from the time he first came in and, and he basically just kind of, I, I think, fell behind. You know, it, it had evolved to a point and he just had not kept up with, you know, maybe technologies and, and whatnot and so he felt overwhelmed.